பாட்டா ரெடியா ஸோ சாப்டர் டூ சப்ளை ஸோ வெரி 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 இம்பார்ட்டன்ட் இட்ஸ் அ ஃபவுண்டேஷன் டு அண்டர்ஸ்டாண்ட் த ஹோல் சிஸ்டம் ஆஃப் ஜிஎஸ்டி சி எவ்ரி டேக்ஸ் லா வில் ஹாவ் ஏ டேக்ஸ்புல் இவெண்ட் ரைட் த ஹேப்பினிங் ஆஃப் விச் த டேக்ஸ் லைபிலிட்டி அரைசஸ் இன்கம் டேக்ஸ் ஏர்னிங் ஆஃப் இன்கம் ஓகே manufacturing of goods central excise provision of service service tax sale of goods vat and cst correct entry of goods entry tax import and export of goods customs law so like that similarly under the gst law the supply of goods or services are both is the taxable event so therefore one has to ascertain whether there is a supply of goods whether there is a supply of service or a both so what is this both sometimes both may be there you will buy an air conditioner by going to the shop after buying the air conditioner you will bring it to home then then what you will do you will take a selfie yeah? and then it has to be fixed the wall who will do that do we, we do that so they they only will send the person they will say 500000 installation charges they do it's a complete contract buying air condition means he cannot say boss i will only sell i will not install will you go there ha huh? no so it happens it's called both there is a supply of goods as well as supply of service both that is why they use the word supply of goods or services or both or both so we should understand carefully what is this supply of goods or services then where when you say sir supply is so important there should be definition correct no so section 7 deals with scope of supply everything you want to learn about supply you have to go to section 7 okay okay so it is very essential to understand the term supply section 7 has three subsections you know what is subsection further division para sub para correct so when you have a section there may be a subsection like that there are three subsections in section 7 i picked up first part matto raatleda so in section 7 subsection 1 says like this for the purpose of this act means we are in central gst act your syllabus because you cannot read 30 state gst laws so your syllabus is cgst igst So now we are in which act? GST. Central GST Act. Because IGST Act doesn't define scope of supply, and IGST Act will not be as big as CGST Act. It says it gives some fundamentals required for a levy of IGST, and says all other provisions as applicable to levy of central tax are equally applicable to levy of IGST. So everything they will pick up from. CGST Act only. Okay, so you have you have read CGST means eighty percent of IGST Act also you read. Only twenty percent you need to read extra. So for the purpose of this Act, the expression supply. So we need to know supply right because what is the taxable event supply. So what is the meaning of the supply? Supply includes. It start with the word includes. You might have read in fundamentals of law. definition starting with the word means definition starting with the word includes this is an inclusive definition when law incorporates inclusive definitions when they want to widen the scope when they want to include more inclusive means illustrative supply 
not only means this but something else also may fit into this definition and see how beautifully defined the term supply includes the term supply includes all forms of supply he is not telling what is supply this is a beautiful definition they doesn't want to maybe they say supply includes all forms of supply what do you mean by supply all forms of supply what is supply all forms of supply so the term supply includes all of all forms of supply of goods or services such as he is not defining but giving examples such as when you will use the word such as alan tv similar to kind of illustrative so they say the term supply includes supply what is supply supply includes supply supply includes all forms see the word used all they want to cover everything on the earth all forms varieties of supply what is supply <laughs> all forms of supply of goods now we should know what is goods at least supply anyway they are not saying they say supply includes all forms of supply sir what is supply supply includes all forms of supply of goods or services sir what is supply sir, supply includes all forms of supply of goods so there may be a definition for goods means or services there may be a definition for services see generally how we read why pass percentage is low for professional exams you will read you will see uh, tv episode cell episode ok sir whatsapp vachina uh, one final chase okay uh, supply includes all forms of supply of goods or services both such as sale transfer barter exchange license rental lease consideration for the business okay all forms of supply no 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 okay next you are reading you may remember but you are not understanding here the exam is not to test your memory but test your understanding of the provision and test your ability to apply the provision they will not ask you write the definition of supply this is not bcom exam they will give a question a practical case x sells goods to so and so for so many rupees he is in andhra he is in karnataka consideration is this one he sold trees leaves you should know what is what is this why he is not asking what is supply he will not ask you what you know he will ask you what you are required to know so this is not the way of reading all forms of supply of goods service all my daughter also will read like that. so then there is no difference between my daughter and you correct you are now you are reading professional you should understand supply includes what why is using the word includes every word see from here on every word i use no this not for any other purpose other than for your profession for your career for your exams there will be any there will not be any word which is useless i am talking something means there is a purpose see includes we should understand we should alert oh include means it is not that this three four lines it can be something else also that is one understanding correct huh? okay and then says he all forms forms every word you should understand what is the meaning of it all forms all very important so it's trying to cover many forms 
of supply so we doesn't know strictly what is supply there is no precise definition this means this nothing like that it can be any kind of what there should be supply of what only goods or service anything else is not covered that is the understanding in the gst law what is covered only goods or services are covered if it is an immovable property no it doesn't cover if you are selling land no because as per the definition of the goods land is not goods so for that you need to read what is this goods don't go to the next para subsection 2 stay here stay here work on it work on it what is this goods is there a definition go to section 2 go through is there a definition of goods ah is there now read now understand that first come back here because now you understand what is goods okay similarly services similar same exercise is there a definition go to section 2 ah there is a definition for services read it understand it because in the question that he is describing you should identify whether it is goods or service or both or it is not at all is it is not goods not service he will says he sold a piece of land and he will give all other parameters no you cannot say he is liable to pay gst that means you have not read the definition of goods okay so goods we should understand we should read services both such as so he is not defining precisely what is supply he is saying he is giving some illustrative list so i cannot say or nobody can say what do you mean by supply what do you mean by supply no so it will be like this like what like sale we should understand what is sale like transfer barter exchange license lease rental or disposal each and every concept is itself is a concept they may ask you in the exam what do you mean by sale okay and unless you understand what is barter you don't know you don't understand the question in the examination hall so the he is saying these kind of activities are supply he is not saying this is supply he is not saying this is supply these kind like sale like transfer so if there is something else which is not a sale which is not a barter which is not an exchange license rental lease but it may still fall in the definition of supply because he used the word ah uh, not only this similar to this is also a supply so if you understand what is sale ah uh, then you may understand okay these kind of stuff though not called as sale in trade but still it is taxable next what is saying made or agreed to be made made or agreed to be made so what is the significance why why is saying made or agreed to be made what is the uh, differentiation actually when you sell only then liability comes okay but he is saying agree to sell that's what the meaning right made or agree to be made so even agreement to do something not actually doing but just agreed may also be taxable in some cases understand then for a consideration there must be a supply supply of goods or service it must it may be made or agreed to be made and there must be consideration 
then question comes sir what do you mean by consideration it is not what is already there in your brain that is not consideration you have to check whether it is defined under the law or go to law dictionary go to dictionary don't we should not use our inbuilt knowledge okay law means we should read we should not write the law okay so what is consideration then by a person so there is a definition for person obviously like income tax act you have a definition that includes individual agf aop boi association of persons you know company cooperative society artificial juridical person list comes so it want to cover everyone not only individual not only company not only firm but person larger term and then finally in the course or furtherance of business only then it is supply if a household lady having gold bangles need some money she go to gold shop and sells her bangles that's not her business no is can we say it is in the course of business because there is a supply sale supply of goods bangles are goods for a consideration there is a money receiving by a person correct to another person correct but it is not in the course or furtherance of therefore not supply got the point then again we should understand what do you mean by business only then these three lines are complete okay it's not that half minute you read it's done oh i read oh i know you are you read this course of supply oh i know very much you want me to read abject mantra tak 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 done ah oh wonderful you are you will get a rank ra what you will get rank he will not ask going to ask you read the definition i mean write the definition okay now let us explore this see in the process you should also know how to read the law okay how to read the law so what are the important terms used ma supply it is missing actually anyway i'll read out supply goods services such as sale transfer barter exchange license lease rental disposal made or agreed to be made consideration person business if you understand all these things you will never forget for your life it will be there in your brain any practical question we will answer okay goods means what see here the term goods means that means only this nothing else what is goods every kind of movable property other than money and securities money is not goods so if you are selling money for money it is not taxable like exchange of money correct no not taxable securities stock markets for selling and buying shares debentures not taxable because they are not goods because they are not included in the definition of goods they are outside but includes actionable claim have you read ever actionable claim indian contract act transfer of property act cpt we'll see actionable claim includes growing crops is a goods grass is a goods things attached to or farming part of the land are also goods which are agreed to be severed before supply under or under contract of supply merely because a thing is attached to the land it will not become immovable property okay this building forming part of the land but you cannot severe means remove it and take it to another place correct huh? correct but some big big machineries will be there for example 
in your apartment cellar there will be a generator correct you buy a big generator you will bring it to your cellar and you keep it there and you will start using it what you will do if you do like that it will starts vibrating in the room in the flat you will also vibrating you will tea you will drink tea like this because why so what way they will do they will fix it to the earth correct they will use concrete you know they will fix keep it there cover it with concrete so that it will be wobble free it doesn't mean it is immobile no any time if you want you can remove the concrete take it to uh, that is the meaning of that things attach it to earth are forming part of land forming part of land means a carrot carrot where will be where it will be part of the land but you can remove it and send it it's a goods you cannot say it is in the land therefore it is also land no so things which are attached to air are forming part of the land but which can be severed for supply goods so basically it's every kind of movable property this table the chair hmm? that projector that ac lights they are all goods this wall no you cannot this is not movable can you move this to my room my chamber no you can't do can you move this chair yes that is the difference movable immovable okay but merely because it is attached it doesn't mean it is, it is immovable for the time being it is immovable but i can move it okay then action bill claim means see it is defined under section 3 of the transfer property act a claim to any debt or other than a debt secured by mortgage of immovable property it, it is a right to our debt ma that's all if there is a debt that is i have given loan to you you owe me it is a debt to you correct huh? now i have a right i can take a legal action in the court of law it is an action bill claim the debt is action bill claim and that is also a goods as per the definition so now we understood what is goods okay okay fine service what is service anything everything other than goods okay the moment you say sir this is not goods department then it is a service pay gst can say that we do you have to prove that it is neither the goods not the service but how it says anything other than goods money and securities these are not <coughs> other than goods you have to read like that other than money other than securities is service having said that he is not happy still he want to do something but includes activities relating to use of money or its conversion by cash or by any other mode you have rupees you want dollars that transaction in money that is okay but for that he is charging some commission that is taxable as a service you understand so activity relating to money money is not goods money is not service also because you see other than money correct right? other than goods money money is neither goods nor service but activity is relating to money conversion they are charging some thing else commission banks 
what is transaction in money in banks you go and take a loan it's not taxable it's a transaction in money but they charge processing charges ah it is an activity relating to grant of loan taxable as service okay from one form of currency to another denomination etc for which separate consideration is charged for example you go to a bank you give rupees he give dollars he doesn't charge okay there is an activity of converting the money from one form to another form but there is no consideration consideration is not there it's okay fine bank is giving loan but is not charging any processing charges not tax so service means what everything other than goods other than money other than securities but includes activities relating to money etc if there is a consideration for the removal of doubts it is hereby clarified that the expression service includes facilitating or arranging transaction in securities you are buying and selling it's okay it's not neither goods so not taxable nor service not taxable but jeroda is facilitating you to buy and sell the securities you understand stock broker jeroda kotak etc they are giving you a platform where you can buy and sell and they are charging you okay brokerage charges correct huh? stock broker charges that is taxable he is telling security not taxable but if you do anything in relation to security that is taxable money is not taxable but you do anything in relation to money is taxable so goods means every kind of movable property service means anything other than goods okay we'll see now coming to sale transfer barter exchange license rental disposal they are not defined in the act they are not defined in the act so we have to take dictionary meanings we'll go through quickly so what is sale the act of selling this is the most general meaning of sale referring to the act of transferring the ownership from seller to a buyer what is sale sale of goods act we all read no there should be transfer of property in goods that is the title to the goods should be transferred from one person to another person only then it is called sale transfer also it's like that only okay to move something physically from one place to another okay and then barter we all know barter no what is barter i have a pencil you have a eraser i need eraser you need pencil okay we have all done in as a kids correct no barter we don't know that it is a barter but we have done correct are i will give my pencil you give your eraser ra correct barter equivalent exchange you are exchanging your things with somebody to get some equivalent it's kind of barter for example i'll go to a car showroom i want to buy a new car now i will give my old car plus some money okay so they want to cover that kind of transaction also so you cannot say i'm not selling i'm only exchanging exchange is covered so he will put he will have some value for that correct huh? he will have some value uh, that value you pay tax he will value yes sir your old car 4 lakhs sir new car 7 lakhs pay extra 3 lakhs that means you are selling for 4 lakhs this old car pay tax such as means what it's giving an example okay license permission lease illegal agreement by the, between the lessor and the lessee rental you know what is rental disposal they want to cover disposal also you are throwing away you are throwing away your phone you don't want this but for that throwing away if there is a consideration it is taxable 
you might have done this you might have sold all your old books old newspapers kada sir kg 10 rupees mummy i want pocket money i will sell this newspapers actually you are throwing away but you are getting something it's not the equivalent value it's actually a scrap it's a waste you are now throwing away but for that throwing away if there is consideration in some cases even if there is no consideration it is taxable i will tell you we'll discuss so they don't want even even the even to leave the throwing away things okay consideration what is consideration in relation to the supply of goods or services both includes any payment made or agreed to be made whether in money or otherwise in respect of supply of goods in response to supply of goods or for the inducement of the supply of goods see reading of the law when two sentences are separated by comma it, it, this is way this is called law of exceptional interpretation in interpretation of statutes see how you should read payment made or agreed to be made whether in money or otherwise in respect of if you keep on reading like that by the time you come to the supply of goods you will forget in respect of so you read in respect of comma what is the next last comma just before the the supply now you read like this in respect of the supply of goods so in respect of supply you are paying it is a consideration okay similarly in response to that's if somebody has done something supply of goods now in response you are paying consideration whether by this is very important this is i have seen one of your examination questions on this point whether by the recipient or by any other person i sold goods to you but she is paying me enough it's okay chalo it's a consideration i will treat this as consideration because see under section 16 in order to be eligible for itc consideration must be paid within 180 days to the supplier there all these things are relevant now department says you have not paid money to the supplier so you are not eligible for itc he says sir i have not paid but my friend has paid my mother has paid my father has paid my sister has paid prove it ha ah, paid okay chalo chalta hai so it is not that only the recipient should pay consideration can be paid by any person but shall not include any subsidy given by the central government or a state government so if you are doing something for which you are getting subsidy it should not be taxable because that is not a consideration because the supply definition says supply of goods or services such as so and so so and so so and so for a consideration so if you prove that there is no consideration there is no gst there is no supply so you have done something for which you are receiving money but as a subsidy from the government it is not a consideration therefore it is not taxable understand so there may be a question x is selling goods manufacturing unit has been set up and uh, he is selling goods from backward areas for which subsidy is received by him from the government of andhra pradesh it is costing per unit 10 rupees you can eliminate 10 rupees you need not pay tax because consideration does not include subsidy given by the government at the monetary value of any act or forbearance in respect of in respect whether by the recipient forbearance see 
so far we said if you are doing something supplying of goods or services for a consideration it is taxable it says if you are not doing something for which you are getting something in return that is taxable that is a consideration sir what is this for if if i say don't do this don't do a particular activity forbearance to an act what is forbearance to an act not to act even if you don't do anything sit quiet do meditation but for which you are getting something in return that is taxable what is this sir? even for not doing also yeah. not doing is doing something that's what the loss is for example you set now is seven kada seven just sat on the chair what is doing that itself is doing getting the point so one one person sits calmly close his eyes okay and just he yes. will be like this now for which i am getting 100 rupees from her what i am doing i am actually i am not doing anything that not doing something is doing something is confused huh? no there should not be any confusion ఏమీ చేయకుండా ఉండడం కూడా ఏదో చేయడమే అని లా చెప్తుంది ఇఫ్ ఐ రిసీవ్డ్ ఎనీ కన్సిడరేషన్ సో ఇఫ్ ఫర్ ఫర్బియరెన్స్ టు అన్ యాక్ట్ ఇఫ్ యు ఆర్ రిసీవింగ్ సంథింగ్ ఇన్ రిటర్న్ దట్ ఈస్ ఆల్సో టాక్సబుల్ ఫర్ ఎగ్జాంపుల్ యూ నీడ్ యూ యూ వాంటెడ్ టు ఫైల్ ఎ కేస్ ఎగెన్స్ట్ మీ ఫర్ సమ్ బీచ్ ఆఫ్ కాంట్రాక్ట్ ఓకే now i said don't do, please i'll pay something or he will he will tell her hey don't go here, sir no. please i'll pay you something that is tax actually she has done nothing that doing nothing is doing something and taxable so get ready for questions like this oh very big definition business trade you know trade commerce manufacture i don't go in detail profession vocation you know what is the difference between profession and vocation profession and vocation trade means buying and selling commerce insurance and all manufacturing converting something into something else with different name character use purpose profession what is profession you have certain skills which are recognized by an established body they will they will conduct scientifically you will get the skill it is not just like that you are getting the skill you will get the skill scientifically you will study cpt you will pass the exam you will write ipcc you will pass the exam you will undergo articles for 3 years you will write the final then you will get the certificate you are called profession but vocation there won't be any certificate scientific way of learning and all if i sit under a tree with a parrot and i'll tell you astrology vocation okay. they are also taxable that is also business you got the point that is why if you read section 236 i believe income tax act the term profession includes vocation so term profession includes even they are they cannot say i am not a ca i am not a professional why are you charging me tax no if that guy is doing something is a business what is doing is so whatever money is receiving he has to pay tax on that wager betting gambling wager whether or not for a pecuniary benefit you are doing this trading and all but sir i am a charitable trust i am doing this not for profit it's okay but you are doing trading na come and pay tax unless it is exempted even ttd has to pay gst on its laddu unless it is exempted because it is a goods eh? is it goods or not there is a supply there is a consideration there is a business yes what is the business buying and selling 
TTD Laddu also takes me, unless exempted. And then incidental or ancillary. See, this definition is nothing but what you have read in your section 236, definition of business under the income tax act. But I will concentrate on one or two points. See, clause C, any activity or transaction in the nature of A that is buying, trading, X, whether or not uh, there is volume, frequency, continuity, regularity. Sir, it is a one-time activity, sir. I will not do really. It's okay, boss. Come. You pay GST and do it. So, you say one-time activity also, business, if it is a trading, if it is commerce, if it is manufacture, if it is a profession, if it is a vocation, one time you have done in the whole year, enough. It is not necessary that you should do all the 365 days, very important. And then, supply or acquisition of goods, including capital goods and services in connection with commencement or closure of the business, provision by a club, association, society or any such body for the benefit of its member all the clubs actually there is a concept called mutuality in the income tax law you know what is mutuality don't know in the income tax law for their own benefit they will form a society they will contribute they will enjoy is that the point you are in an apartment you will form a society you will give your money you will only enjoy it is your own money it is circulating but still that is covered under the business so all these clubs associations are doing business earlier it is they used to get exemption now nothing doing that is important admission for a consideration of persons to any premises if i admit you into my office by taking a rupee or 100 rupee it is tax any premises cinema hall circus exhibition okay Next, services supplied by a person as a holder of an office which has been accepted by him in the course or furtherance of his trade profession vocation. Now, all are going full NCLT, right? National Company Law Tribunal winding up. Then they will in appoint a professional. They will appoint a professional called a insolvency professional. He will, it will be handed over to him. So, he has to take care of all the winding up send on okay and then activities of a race club clubs this horse races okay all those are business even they did not leave the government they said any activity or transaction undertaken by central government state government or any local authority in which they are engaged as public authority Government, Indian Railways, who is running? Uh, AC, GST is there or not? 5%? Yeah, wonderful. They also have to pay GST. Okay. Okay. With that, clause A is over. Now, let us sum up clause A. So, whatever we read so far, only three lines we read. But now, let us read now and see the difference of half an hour before also we read now we are reading half, half an hour later is there any difference let us see so supply includes all forms of supply of goods now we know what is goods okay services anything other than goods or both such as sale we know transfer yes barter exchange license rental lease disposal made or agreed to be made for a Ah, for a if I do something for free it is not taxable I will give a classic live example now I am teaching you right but I am not charging you it is not taxable otherwise what I am doing is other than goods an activity I am doing something I am doing something as a person to another person but it is not taxable because, because there is no ah, consideration. 
so if you are doing something even if you are supplying goods even if you are supplying services even if it is in the course of furtherance of the business or as a profession but if there is no consideration indian contract act you might have all read no con no consideration no contract that's all. this one no consideration no contract by a person individual etc etc in the course or furtherance it should be in the course or furtherance of the business if it is not in the course or furtherance of the business the activity you are doing is not business at all but of course in the business definition they want they <laughs> yeah they included almost everyone including governments but still if you are so intellectual you got you found something that is not business what is that okay got it so last one hour we read only three lines but this is the way to read our subjects this is the way to approach the subject this is the way of professional learning okay then obvious it is obvious that you have to pass nobody you can stop you then you know everything what else he can ask from these four lines what else he can ask no there is no chance you are bound to pass correct ah but we are not trying for just passing hmm 60% 70% 80% possible very much possible people are getting no yeah why can't we we also can get it. okay so this is uh, today's class tomorrow we'll try to complete the second chapter supply chapter then you you come up with your questions you go back 